welcome back to Simmotion, Derek here. Thanks again for joining me today. As you can see, we made a bit of progress since the last video, and I'm really excited to say that we're gonna be doing some in-game testing today on the platform itself. So we're gonna see a bit of motion here in a minute. So as you can see, we've made a couple of additions to the bottom platform, and it's finally complete. Super happy about that. Uh, we've got these strut bars that we put into place, and these strut bars connect each side of the platform so that the top is kind of joined together along with the bottom. It's going to add plenty of rigidity once this thing's in motion. Uh, we've also used some anchor bolts to anchor this down into the concrete floor of the garage, so there will be no lifting once this thing has all the weight uh, on top. And I'm really happy with these ADST servo motors that we've got on here. This thing performs so well, it's so smooth, and it's gonna have zero problem lifting the amount of weight we're gonna put on this upper platform. So pretty, pretty happy about that. As you can see, we're going with the Porsche theme. So I went ahead and made some wood covers for the motor mount uh, to kind of hide everything, but also add some design element to it. Um, really happy with the slate gray that we went with along with the white Porsche design. We've also added some LED lights on all three sides of the platform, so uh, during the night this thing lights up pretty cool. We're also using FlyPT software, I'll put a link to that in the description. FlyPT software looks overwhelming at first, but really once you get in and start playing with it, uh, it's pretty intuitive. Obviously FlyPT, he's on our Discord channel, so uh, he's been a huge, tremendous help with getting me off the ground and running. So don't get too overwhelmed. Uh, there's a group of folks ready to support once you get to that point. So the upper part of the platform is still a work in progress. I went with some basic dimensions and we've got kind of a prototype uh, hooked up. And I'm happy to say that there really is no interference between uh, the rods and the platform. We've got a pretty uh, generic seat attached, just uh, something comfy to sit on while we do a lot of our uh, initial testing. So. Uh, We'll get something a little bit better than this here pretty quick.
Well, there you have it, guys. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, this thing's got some movement. Uh, what's really exciting is with that software alone, I mean, I can feel everything. The ground uh, texture, I could feel, you know, when you run over the rumble strips on the right side of the vehicle, you could feel the whole right side of the rig start to shake. You know, when, when coming around a corner and the back end breaks loose, the whole back end of this kind of washes out. I mean, these are things that I had no idea I was gonna be feeling at this point. So I uh, couldn't be more pleased with where we're at so far. And I mean, this is rough adjusting of the filters and whatnot, I mean, I still have a lot to learn um, but I, again, I couldn't be more happy. You saw the truck rally, uh, racing, um, you know, when you, when you hit the jump and you're free floating in air, this thing kind of comes down to a lower position, super smooth. You can't feel anything until you get shot up from the ground, uh, you know, hitting the wheels of the vehicle. So, um, again, just awesome, you know, getting thrown back in your chair from accelerating or being pushed in, you know, into the front of the vehicle when you're braking. I mean, these are all things that come across that I wish you could try yourself. I don't know, just, just super, super happy and uh, can't wait to see what this thing's really capable of in the future. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the update. Pretty exciting so far. We've got plenty of motion on the platform. We've got a great software to utilize and uh, we'll be running that through its course and, and trying different filters and whatnot. Uh, to give different sensations throughout the platform. We still got a lot of work to do. Obviously, we have to build the upper platform. We've got our prototype for now. It seems to be just, just right as far as dimensions go. So soon here, we'll be sending that off to the welder. We'll have them weld up some uh, steel tubing for us in the same dimension pattern. Other things that we're looking forward to is I've got three 35-inch BenQ monitors coming our way. Uh, these are curved monitors that we're going to be also be able to hook them up to a uh, triple monitor stand. I've got one of those coming from SimLab. Once we get the monitors attached to the monitor stand, we'll know exactly what our dimension is as far as width goes for the bottom of the platform. Once we get our seat, we're going to want the seat to be a certain distance from the monitors. And once we have that certain distance, then we'll know the, the length of our upper platform dimension. Uh, got quite a bit to do still. So again, thanks for the interest and uh, just wanted to provide everybody an update. Thanks. Mm -hmm.